Welcome back to another Pokemon Market Monday where every single Monday morning I post a video going through last week's sales of sealed Pokemon products, wild cards, and graded cards just in case if anything goes up in the market we do not miss out. But before we get started we gotta thank today's video sponsor and that is Arizona TCG. If you guys have a bunch of graded cards or just a few graded cards you're looking to sell, you're not sure what to do when you want to get that top dollar, Arizona TCG is perfect for you. You just send them your graded cards and that's it. They will handle everything else. They're going to take professional scans of your cards. They're going to post it on their massive weekly eBay auctions. And the best part about it is they charge almost the exact same amount as if you started your own eBay store. But this eBay store has 100% positive feedback with over 10,000 cards sold. And you can also change it and do buy it now. You have full control over your cards. This is honestly one of the best ways to sell your cards. It's so annoying to have to ship cards every other day to a bunch of different people, deal with customers, trying to do returns and everything like that. It's, it's a hassle. So this is honestly the best way. And the next time I get a big lot of graded cards, I'm just going to send them to Arizona TCG. It's just the easiest way. So definitely check them out. The link is in the description. All right, let's get to it. All right, Evolving Skies, we got a booster pack. $10. Booster box market price is still about $6.90, but there's a few weird sales here. Two at $7.97. One at $7.30. The rest all high $600, so it's not really going over that $700 mark yet, which is kind of crazy. I really thought it'd reach $1,000 a little quicker, but it stalled out at $7. What I think is happening is it's getting pretty expensive to where now a lot of people can't afford that box. And instead of, you know, keep trying to get that box, they're trying to get Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, those boxes right now. Honestly, a lot of stuff in the market is going down because everybody is focusing on Sword and Shield booster boxes right now because it's just a hot thing. So, uh, ETBs, a little over 100, 99, 117, 102. They're on their way up. I Luckily, I got five of them last month, so better than nothing. And Sleeve Booster. Going up. Uh, last price, $15.50, $12.90, $12.90. Someone bought 19 of them at $12.90. Uh, someone bought four at $17. So, yeah, it's moving. Slowly but surely. Let's see, is there anything else that's sticking out? Nope. The Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box, we'll check that quick. That is also leveling out. So, it looks like a lot of things are kind of just leveling out for Evolving Skies. With just a slow, you know, slow little movement up now. Alright, next. Crown Zenith Booster Packs, still the same price. These uh, tins are starting to go up a little bit in price. So... You know, I could find them all day at $20, $18, 19 $20. Now it's a little more like $22, $23, $24. But look at these last sales, $29, $29, $29. And uh, I had somebody else argue me in the comments about the three-pack um, is better. But in my opinion, this is a very special tin. You know, a lot of tins, the variety pack, they have different reprints, a bunch of different packs in them. Terrible promos. This is pure Crown Zenith packs. Beautiful exclusive promos of the birds. We don't get tins like this every day. So I think these are special. And then you get all you can get all three arts and display. And I personally know a lot of people that love the Galarian birds too. So those are going up. Let's check the ETB. That is on a slow rise right now. It's just a few dollars. 41 to 44. So Crown Zenith is moving, guys, slowly but surely. So I would stock up. We've gotten a ton of reprints of Crown Zenith, too. I don't know if we're going to get any more. You never really know. So, and there's a decent amount of Crown Zenith, you know, products. So here's the pin collection that that guy was talking about. You get three packs, a pin, and a promo. But, I mean, 16 16 16 i've been getting tins which has five packs in a promo for like 20 21 all day now before i was getting them for like 18 so when you get a case you can get them for that 18 dollar price so i don't know i i prefer the tin myself especially you're getting two extra packs a way better promo and it's way better to display next 151 
So let's check this booster bundle. I feel like everything's kind of stalled out for 151 also because everybody's buying those sword and shield right now. We're expecting another reprint for 151. Um, once we got one for Japanese, we usually do get one for English, which is probably why a lot of this stuff is going down a little bit. So I'll keep an eye on that. Maybe add that to Falling Friday. Uh, next, let's check this UPC. They did just have a bunch stocked at uh, Walmart. So it's down a few bucks, which is great, honestly. I mean, just to be able to still get the regular Lee Trainer box for... 62 at 47.92, huh? 55, 59. So yeah, mid 50s, which I think MSRP is 49.99 for this thing. So that's not bad. Great elite trainer box. You're getting that exclusive Snorlax. Not shabby. Let's. Is there anything else we got to check on 151? I don't think anything else is really moving. Yeah, I think everything's just coming down a couple dollars. Yep, everything's coming down a couple bucks. So, great news. Next, celebrations. Same thing. Everything here is going down a couple dollars. Uh, we had a few of these products on our last Falling Friday. But yeah, everything's going down right now. Everybody is buying Sword and Shield booster boxes or whatever they can buy that has Evolving Skies packs in it. It's just... So a lot of this stuff starts dropping... And the thing is, is that the people that have all these, they want to buy that stuff too. That's why they keep lowering the price, so hopefully people start buying it so they have money to go buy Sword and Shield booster boxes or stuff with Evolving Skies packs or whatever it is. So, this happens every single time. So it's great news for the people that do not have any of this stuff yet or not very much and want to stock up. Alright, next, getting to the booster boxes. Lost Origin is getting up there. And this box still is available on the Pokemon Center website, which we'll hop over and check that out real quick. We got Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars, and Silver Tempest is what we have left, and Battle Styles. So, and I've heard a lot of these uh, Scarlet and Violet booster boxes are selling out. I feel like Pelday Evolve sold out. You don't need to worry about that. We will definitely get reprints of that. You can still find that box so cheap everywhere. A lot of people still have that box. So that happens actually a decent amount um, when these newer sets, they do sell out and they just get restocked pretty quickly. So no need to worry on that. Uh, yeah, so that's what's still available. Same with the Fusion Strike Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. I can't believe this thing is still here. Booster Box is like pretty expensive and this thing has not moved. Um, you can get the Build and Battle Box still. Astral Radiance is now sold out also. Here is the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. Same price. So, not bad. Alright, let's check. So, Lost Origins moving up. Astro Radiance should now be moving up. Last three sales, 175 So, and in my opinion, this set is... It's a solid set. It's got the Machamp, the Diagla, and Palkia. I do feel like those cards are very undervalued. I feel like they're some of the best arts we've gotten. I know they're like the Origin form, so they're not the most popular versions, but... This is a solid set. It's not the best set for sure, but it's a solid set. Let's see. Oh, we got to check Fusion Strike too. See if we got any new record sales. 240, 240, 2 at 321, 240, 165 on oh, those packs, 232. So it looks like that 240 mark is right where this box is sitting at. $240 for a Fusion Strike booster box. Wow pretty crazy and then yeah you can get a ship right here for 245 when you break down all the sets and you like really look at fusion strike compared to the other sets it's got some of the best older pokemon in it you know mew gengar celebi so comparing to a lot of the other sets that have different versions or different forms you know not that original pokemon fusion strike is one of the best sets when it comes to that and that's what usually sells honestly is that older vintage stuff. Those Gen 1ers go crazy for it. You know, so many people love the Gengar, the Mews. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the Mew V Max. I love the Mew V. Even the Mew V, I feel like, could have been better. Especially when you look at the Celebi. Can't tell me, you know, give me a Mew version of that Celebi card. 
you know, maybe not in snow and stuff like that, just a different thing. It would have been so much better than what we got. So, and the Gengar VMAX is pretty crazy. I will admit that. All right, we will look. Chilling Rain is now officially a $200 booster box. Every sale now is over $200. 220 205 220 210 So, $200 booster box, and it'll probably, I don't know if it'll ever pass Fusion Strike now, to be honest, which is just crazy to think about. Uh, anything else that is moving? Vivid Voltage, I don't think is moving at all. It's going down a little bit. See, the stuff that's not, you know, the alternate art sets, everything is moving down. Darkness of Blaze is moving down. Yep. We'll check. We'll even check Sword and Shield. You know, one of the most expensive sets. Oh, it was going down. A little spike up. That's good. I don't know who's buying Sword and Shield booster boxes at 280 though. I'm guessing they're people that want to get every single set. But it's just so expensive for what you're actually getting. Same with Rebel Clash. Alright, next. Look at some Sword and Shield Elite Trainer boxes. See if anything's moving. Um... Looks like the Fusion Strike Elite Trainer Box is moving. Not a ton, but we're talking, was that $40 now? Last sale is $44, $44, 44 I think that box is still available on the Pokemon Center also for uh, $39. Uh, Champion's Path is going down. Yeah. It's crazy. What else? Is anything moving up? Let's get to the good Elite Trainer Boxes, the Pokemon Center ones. Uh, where is Astro Radiance? Right here. That's what I wanted to see if this one is moving up. I swear, a lot of people have no clue you can order this stuff on Pokemon Center still. And I know a lot of people are not in the United States, so. This thing is moving up slowly. 49 to last sold price, 55, 52, 52. I love that Elite Trainer Box. I think it's one of the best looking ones. It's that dark purple. So nice. Alright, next we got the XY Evolutions. This is the Charizard box. This one's moving a little bit more than the Blastoise one. It's a beautiful looking Elite Trainer box. The Blastoise one too. Uh, giving some love to the Megas. And uh, Megas are coming back too. So you never know. This thing might be really, really sought after. I mean at $230, it's a pretty expensive Elite Trainer box. I don't think the set Evolutions is that great. Like, at all. There's a couple nice cards, but even the reprint of Charizard is... It's okay. And then I don't like the reverse hollows in the set. I don't like the hollows in the set. It could have definitely been a lot better. Uh, last sold 240, 224, 233. Not bad. I really want to get the Blastoise one. Glacian, Leafy, and Vsar. These aren't moving a ton, but they're moving. They have Evolving Skies packs in them. So I think a lot of stuff now. With Evolving Skies Packs is going to start moving. I just made a big list. 15 different products that have Evolving Skies Packs in them. Uh, I think it was my last video. Definitely check that out. Because I'm going to guess every single one of those products is going to start moving up in price. Next. Some of the best. Not some of the best. The best Sword and Shield boxes that we got. Besides maybe the UPC. The Vaporeon. Look at the price. Six months ago, $86. Last sold price, $106, $96, That's basically a $100 box. And I mean, you're only getting six packs. Yes, there is Evolving Skies packs in there. But some of the best promos ever. And the jumbos are just beautiful. Uh, the Vaporeon is the most expensive out of the three. So here's the Jolteon. Got up to $89. Dipped back down to that high 80s. Still, you know, it was low 80s, high 70s for the longest time. Let's check this year graph. Yeah, low 70s. Last sold price, 95, 99, 84, 87. Check the Flareon. Same thing. Last sold price, 90, 82, 80. So I would say the Flareon is probably the cheapest out of the three. So, not bad. Flareon's a great Pokemon. Yeah. These things are crazy. I think these are going to be pretty expensive one day. I mean, they already are pretty expensive. But we're talking very beautiful promos. Great pack selection. I do wish it had like 8 packs in it. But whatever. Next, the Galarian Rapidash V-Box. 
This thing is moving up in price. Not a ton, but the last sold price, 36 32 So we got three at $23.96. 24 34 37 I just started noticing a lot of these, you know, in the mid-30s. And uh, this box also comes with an Evolving Skies pack, but it's only four packs. It's, it's a beautiful box. My wife loves this box. I think it's got, like, texture on it, like with the swirls and stuff. And a lot of people love Galarian Rapidash, so I get it. All right, next we got alt arts. So a lot of movement in the Sword and Shield alternate arts. Pretty much every single alternate art is moving back up in price, which is funny because they all moved down, and now they're all moving back up. This is the Blaziken V Max, last sold price two thirty, two ninety nine, two thirty. But remember. There's a lot of people manipulating the market right now. Opossum Bud just made a video about a certain seller on TCG Player. I don't remember the name, but uh, he is personally just jacking these prices up. So please don't fall for it. A lot of these cards are going to come back down in price. But as you can see, people are buying. I mean, $230, $299, 230 But again, those could be him buying them and just reselling them you just never really know so don't give in to the hype let's see go back to high i don't know why it changes every time tcg player drives me nuts especially lately it's just been worse and worse check this umbreon v that pokey rev uh hyped up last sold 174 209 209 wow 200 card 200 183 109 oh damage 185 so probably average price of like 190 which is just bananas but i do think that just this card alone if the moon beyond is that expensive this card should also be pretty expensive not the rest but this should be a couple hundred dollars in my opinion if moon beyond is that expensive all right let's look again even though everything is just moving up the lugia is at 160 Wow. Last sold price 160, 150, 150, 175, 150. It's a $150 card now, huh? So many people. I've argued people. They're like, this card will never go up in value, ever. Those tins that got reprinted. This is a beautiful card, and it's Lugia we're talking about here. And uh, the people that do not like this art, I feel like, have not seen this card in person close up. Once you see this card in person close up, it's beautiful. The green really pops on it. It's it's a very, very beautiful card. Kind of crazy how expensive it is, though. Probably a $200 card here soon. I know Gengar's going wild. Let's see here. Let's see. Last sold price for Deer Mint, $350. Wow. $299 for that, $250. Three ninety nine, two fifty five. These prices are just—it is wild, wild west out there right now. Let's check a cheaper alternate art, huh? Dragonite. Oh man, Tyranitar is going up too. I didn't get him yet. Nearman, one hundred twenty dollars. About time Dragonite gets some respect. Where is this Tyranitar? Wow, one ten for the Titar. Wow, just wild. Let's see here. A couple more, a couple more. Let's see if these other evolutions are going up. Let's see if the Glaceon. I think the Glaceon's a beautiful card. So, yeah. Every single alternate art right now, high end alternate art is going up. Let's go, let's go low to high. And we will see if a cheaper one is moving up. Let's see here. Who are we picking? The Genesect. Genesect is also moving up. Not a ton, eleven dollars. Last sold price fourteen fifty, eleven thirty seven, thirteen ninety nine. So a tiny bit. Let's do one more for the example. Um, let's check the Beedrill. Beautiful art. This card is just last sold price twenty dollars for a lightly played, twenty three ninety nine for a near mint. So yeah, this card is also going up. So it looks like every single Sword and Shield Alt on the Dark card right now is going up in price. Which is just... Honestly, for how cheap some of these got, I don't think they should have got that cheap. 
These cards are so hard to pull. Like every single alternate art is so much harder to pull than a special illustration rare. That a lot of these cards, even like the Sandaconda V, shouldn't be $3. I mean, it should be like a $10 card for her for how hard it is to pull. So, I mean, this card was $70 right away. It's got a Loogie in the background. This card is just dropping. So I guess not every single alternate art, but most alternate arts, the more popular arts, are moving up in price. Next... The Magikarp, this thing is going wild. Uh, last sold price, 106, 125. I don't think this should be a $100 card. Um, in my opinion, it should be about a $50 card, $40 card. I feel like that's a solid price for a really good illustration rare, that $40, $50 mark. I mean, maybe $60, $70, but even then, most sets don't even have a special illustration rare that costs that much. This card is special, and it is harder to pull than I thought. I've been seeing a lot of people open packs and they just, just cannot pull this card. And it's tough to grade. But again, it's a Magic Art. I know a lot of people do love Magic Art, but it should be about a $50, $60 card. I don't think I would ever pay over $100 for this card. So in my opinion, I would definitely hold off. Make these sellers drop the prices. If you guys stop buying at these prices, they will be forced to drop the prices. It's that simple. They can sit and buy up cards to make it think... You know, we're getting a bunch of sales, but eventually they will they can't do that forever. So, just hold off, and all these people will start lowering their prices. This was the probably the newest car that get hyped up. And in my opinion, I thought this card was going to be a $50 card when it came out. A $40, $50 card. Just because it has Gengar in it. Um, $84, $99, Just crazy. It was at $38. So it was close. Yeah, I, I thought it was going to be about a $50 card. But wow, near mint. $79. Wow. Again, I'd hold off. It will not be this price forever. We got one price over $100. $99, 124 And then when you see those two, a lot of times, like, if it's the 124 it could have been a perfectly centered card. And, you know, the person who lists it knows that. So they jack up the price a little more. That happens a lot, but 79, 69. So if you go back a little bit, yeah, it all shut up in about a week. All right, next. Now this card hasn't moved a lot, but I'm calling it. This is probably gonna be the next card to get hyped up. Um, it's moving up right now, not at, like I said, not a ton. It was in the low 20s and now it's like mid 20s. Someone bought one for 20.99. $25.97. A uh, bunch of lightly plates. Why are you buying a lightly plate for $21 when you can buy a near mint for $24, $25? Don't ever do that. Even if you're just using it for the TCG, later on when you go to break that deck down to sell it or do whatever, you're going to be disappointed when you have a ton of lightly played and moderately played cards. As someone who played, I played in every single pre release for 10 years straight. I also play Magic. Always buy your cards in near mint. Get good sleeves. They're not going to get damaged, as, you know, unless you're super, super rough with your cards. But just always, you know, especially if we're talking a few dollars from lightly played to near mint, just go with that near mint. But yeah, in my opinion, this is the best special illustration rare that we have gotten in the Scarlet and Violet era, hands down. I think it's better than the Magikarp. Plus, it's Groudon versus a Magikarp. Come on now. I'm so excited to see what we get for Kyogre. I personally like Kyogre a little bit better than Groudon, but I really, really hope Kyogre is beautiful. Next, the Pikachu with Grey Felt hat. I am officially done with this card. I'm not going to buy it. It just keeps going up. It's now over $90. $90, $91, 89 You can get it shipped for $90. Bucks. It's going to be a $100 card. And it shouldn't be a $100 card. It should be a... $50 card at most. So I'm not buying it. All right, last on the list. We are going to look at some graded cards on Arizona TCG. These are the Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery. This Trainer Gallery is going to be the next to pop off. First of all, I don't know if you guys know, the Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon 
pretty tough to grade and their PSA 10s are almost the same exact price as the texture trainer galleries, which is just crazy. Uh, was high 30s, now $50, which is just, you know, let's look at the Sylveon. So we're talking a non-textured card is a dollar more expensive than the Sylveon VMAX. So I feel like those cards already had their little jump up. These cards have not really had that yet. Um, there's some beautiful cards here. I also wanted to check the Eevee because I did not check the Eevee yet. I feel like Eevee kind of gets forgotten. So 37, back up to 48. So it's it was before at 55. Look at that PSA 9, 14, 50. So crazy. You guys, if you think your card is going to not get a 10, like if you're not 100% sure if you see something that's like pretty obvious, just, just don't send it in. You're wasting money. You're wasting time. PSA 9s now are basically almost cheaper than getting a near mint card. So just really just try to be kind of picky. And I really feel like PSA is getting a little pickier from what I've heard. So just try to be a little bit picky when you send your cards in and you won't end up with a bunch of PSA 9s and PSA 8s. Because I'm telling you, nobody's going to want those. I feel like most people would rather have a raw card to put in a binder than a PSA 8 or PSA 9 of a new modern card. Everybody wants those gem mint 10s. And what really sucks about it is, if you pull that card and you love it, and you get it graded and it comes back a 9, a lot of people won't care, but a lot of people will get disappointed, and they won't like that card as much. So, just wild. Especially, you know, PSA 7. Like, what are you doing? You know that card's not going to be a 10. All right, let's check the more expensive ones. Uh, the Umbreon VMAX here. I personally just purchased this card. This card is going up as we speak. I got it for $53 or something like that. And, I mean, PSA 10 is now $67. And the thing is, this card is selling so fast right now that when you go look at the eBay sold prices, like, a lot of these graphs and stuff can't even keep up with it. $76 with $5 for shipping. Uh, $100 for best offer. $80 or best offer. Someone got one right there for $60. Not bad. Uh, $85. This is getting to be an expensive card. Because if you think about it, uh, Moonbreon, most people can never get it. Now the Umbreon V, which people, so many people just slept on and never picked up. They're like, oh, I'll get it. Is now a $200 card. The next best thing is the Umbreon V Max Trainer Gallery and Umbreon V Trainer Gallery. So we'll go back and check out the regular V, which in my opinion is the better art. I don't know what it is. I think every single V is a better art than the V Max. Uh, this card also going up in price, but again, this card selling so fast. I mean, $65, $95 are best offer, $70 with $5 are shipping and best offer, $70, $70. These are probably gonna be $100 cards here very very soon um so now might be the time because even if you really look at it i know these cards aren't the hardest to pull boxes are getting expensive people are not going to want to open these packs as much 70 dollars for a beautiful art in a gem min 10 still is not that bad so i really think we have time still before it does reach that hundred dollar mark so if i were you guys i, I mean and i'm not sitting on a ton of these i literally bought one Umbreon VMAX, one Sylveon VMAX Trainer Gallery so far in a PSA 10. Got them both for really good deals. I'm, you know, I'm not saying this to make a bunch of money, but I really think these are going to be $100 cards. So now might be the time. Let's check one more card. I want to check this other Sylveon here. I feel like the Sylveon doesn't get as much love as the Umbreon and everybody else. So... This card's $47.50. Not bad. So, still time. Especially for that. $47, mid-40s. I am watching some of these. I got a few options. I'm watching a Sylveon and the Umbreon V. Would love to get those in a PSA 10 before they go up in price. And I wanted to get the Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon, but, I mean, already paying $50, $60, I would rather buy the textured trainer galleries, in my opinion. Even though these are beautiful arts, do wish they were textured. But... 
we did get these and we got the collection boxes we looked at earlier. So Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon did get, you know, a decent amount of cards. So yeah, that was another Pokemon Market Monday. If you guys do see anything moving up or down in the market, please let me know. It helps out so much. The more information we got, the better these videos are going to be. And if you guys do like this content, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. My name is Polkabeard. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support more, you can now become a member for 99 cents a month. We have a ton of exclusive content on there. When new cards drop, I post it there ASAP before anybody even posts it on YouTube. I'm checking Polka Beach multiple times a day. Also, when I see good deals, I post it on there too. And then you can also check out my eBay store. We got 100% positive feedback with over 20,000 cards sold. And definitely check out Arizona TCG. You will not be disappointed. But all right, I want you guys to have a great day. And I want you guys to check out my newest video where I have 15 different products that have Evolving Skies packs in there. These prices are going to go quick, so definitely check that out. But all right, see you later.